Hello and welcome along to this latest watercolour. You can see I wanted a fairly dramatic sky in this one, so um, we'll show you how to do that. It's sort of hit and miss sometimes with these skies. Uh, you can see just a simple beach scene and I've stuck with two colours, Payne's Grey and Yellow Ochre. That's it. That's the only two colours. But you can see it's quite effective. So uh, just starting off with a light wash, I've got a tiny bit of Payne's Grey in there only so I can see where I'm going because I do want to leave a couple of gaps there, dry gaps. Where, where I've uh, gone over there with the wet on the sky. There we go with the paint's grey. You can see those dry areas. The paint is not going onto those. I'm just darkening that up a little bit. I've got to move fairly quickly with this. I still need this to be a bit darker. And I've run out of paint's grey in my palettes. So I'm, I'm uh, desperately trying to find my Payne's Grey tube right now and uh, I found it so I'm just loading some more Payne's Grey onto my brush because that's going to dry even paler than what it is so I'm just darkening it up now. As you can see a really very thick brush there that I'm using and we'll add some yellow ochre in now Here we go. Doesn't look like much of a sky at this stage, does it? But um, we'll put it in the shape as much as we can anyway. As I say, sometimes uh, the sky doesn't work out and um, I have to throw the whole thing away, unfortunately, if I don't like the sky. Now it's taking shape. Just by tilting the page, you can see how the colors are blending in there. Now with the brush, I'm just coaxing a few areas there. So those are just, I don't know, where the sun might be shining through. I'll probably go over some of those anyway. So that'll dry lighter and then I'm going to put some darker cloud perhaps uh, in the right hand corner up the top there and uh, maybe some down the bottom on the left hand corner. Just some darker areas of cloud. That'll give it a little bit more of a 3D look. Always have some tissue handy. I've actually got some um, you know, the normal tissue paper out of a box, that's not ideal. I ran out of, I, I usually like to use that um, uh, thick paper toweling, you know, that you use in kitchens. But I've run out and I have I had to resort to using just normal tissue paper. Just tilting the board to see the paint running down from the bottom, running up from the bottom. So that's, um, you can see uh, uh, the cloud on the left hand side, the darker cloud. I'm sorry I didn't show that to you. And there's cloud on the top. But I simply just went over it again with some Payne's Grey. That's all. And I just um, uh, washed it out in some areas. Very simple. 
Um, look, I'll be doing a watercolour demo mainly on skies fairly soon so I can show you the full thing on, um, on different techniques of doing skies that you might like to try. Okay, so we're putting some water in here now. And I'm using Payne's Grey yet again. Little bit of yellow ochre as well. And we'll carry that yellow ochre in through to the beach. And we'll put a few rocks, maybe some little rocks on the left hand side as well. And we'll use Payne's Grey again for the rocks. This is A4 that I'm doing this demo on for you. A4 size paper. It's 300 GSM. You can see I'm just uh, darkening this area up a bit more with some Payne's Grey. And that beach is a mixture of Payne's Grey and Yellow Ochre as well. Got a little fisherman standing on the beach there somewhere. We'll uh, put that in.
Just work on those rocks there. go Just putting some white gouache down through there little boat in the background. painting this little fisherman. Uh, using Payne's grey as well.
we need a bit of shadow on that guy so as you can see there go bit of shadow shadow there and we're nearly finished just need something in the foreground like I don't know just some just some um, vegetation we'll keep it to the colors that we have the yellow ochre and um, and the Payne's gray go just in the foreground just some something you know some vegetation something like that Probably hear the hear the um, the storm outside. It's thundering. A bit of lightning out there. It almost matches the sky we've got, doesn't it? Yeah, our, our watercolour sky. Just pull the tape away from the paper. We might put a little bit of um, white gouache just on that fisherman, just um, around his head, just to highlight highlight the guy. A bit, little bit more um, vegetation there. We can almost start. Uh, to continue taking that tape off.
bit of shadow from those rocks. And I'm just going to put a, some paper over most of the painting there and I'm just going to flick a little bit of paint just over the sand there. Some darker paint, some lighter paint. So we'll look at that now to see how that looks. Yep. Might need a little bit more, maybe some white and some um, Okay, let's start taking this off and pull away from the painting otherwise you're going to rip that tape right through your painting if you don't pull away. And we'll just um, as soon as we get this uh, taken off the board. I'm just going to fix something up here just for a little bit. Yeah, that's better. Just a bit more highlight. And we're nearly at the finish. We might do um, some sort of a farm scene um, with our next video. All right, so there it is. I think we'll leave it alone now and here it is thank you for watching please subscribe and click the bell icon and I'll be back with another uh, watercolor demonstration um, very soon and remember um, I'll be doing some videos just on some skies but um, I hope you're enjoying this and getting some ideas out of this but remember keep practicing don't give up and uh, and I'll see you again soon with another watercolour painting. Bye for now.